Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, <clears throat> Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first day and first Friday of the month of October, we celebrate the feast day of St. Therese of the Child Jesus. Let us pray in this Mass that like St. Therese, we may also live in the way of humility, simplicity, and love. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession, we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, 
The exiles prayed, Justice is with the Lord, our God. And we today are flushed with shame. We men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we, with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets, and with our ancestors, have sinned in the Lord's sight and disobeyed Him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord, our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God and only too ready to disregard His voice. All the, and the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us, but each one of us went off after the devices of his own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beast of the earth. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem as there's no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought with very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more toler tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. 
And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whoever rejects you rejects me. And whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, whose feast day we celebrate today, is one of the most popular and well-loved saints of the Catholic Church. But would you believe that during her lifetime, probably not more than 100 people knew her. Upon her insistence at the age of 15, he entered the Carmel in Lishu, and she stayed there until she died at the age of 24. She did nothing extraordinary. She stayed in Carmel the whole time. And yet now, she is a renowned saint. She did not go to mission, but she has been proclaimed as the patroness of mission. She did not teach nor battle against heretics, but she has also been declared as a doctor of the, ch of the church. And many people around the world are devoted to her. Why? Why is she so attractive to us? What attracts us to her? I would say her humility. It is her humility that makes her so attractive. She is so humble that she offered her whole life to God. She is so humble that she lived in simplicity. She is so humble that she loved God by doing ordinary things with ordinary, extraordinary love. She was so humble that she recognized herself as nothing and God as her everything. It was her humility that attracted us to her. And the life of St. Therese proves to us that humility indeed attracts. This is the same attitude of the people of Jerusalem that we see in our first reading today. They recognize their own sinfulness, their own nothingness before God. And so before God, they lamented. They said, we have sinned against the Lord. We have not heeded His voice. We have done evil in His sight. By declaring their sins before God, they humbled themselves. And God caught, and they caught God's attention. God was so attracted with their humility that God extended to them His mercy. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, even God is attracted to humble people. Humility is attractive. 
But if humility is attractive, arrogance, on the other hand, is repulsive. In our gospel today, Jesus rebukes Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum, the three towns where Jesus has been carrying out his public ministry. And he rebukes these three towns because all the while that Jesus was teaching, healing, and doing good works in these towns, the residents of these towns refused to believe in Jesus. And that is pride. That is arrogance. They were so proud that they rejected Jesus. They were arrogant because they were full of themselves. And because they were full of themselves, they had no place for Jesus in their lives. My dear brothers and sisters, humility is attractive while arrogance is repulsive. Ang mapagpakumbaba, kinakatuwaan natin, kinalulugdan natin, pero ang mayayabang, pinagtatawanan, kinaiinisan, at iniiwasan natin. Hindi ba kapag may mga taong mapagpakumbaba, yung mga taong simple, ang gaan-gaan ng loob natin sa kanila, gusto natin sila. Pero yung mga taong arogante, mayayabang, yung mga taong yan, kinaiinisan at nilalayuan natin. Ayaw nating makasama. And as we also begin today here in our country, the filing of candidacy of our government officials who want to serve in public office, let us pray that we may have humble leaders because only humble leaders could serve well. Arrogant leaders will only serve themselves. They will never serve others. And if they do serve others, it is for their own benefit and interest. We pray for the grace of humility for our leaders and for all of us. Humility attracts that even God is drawn to humble person. And even God is disgusted with the arrogant and the proud. Ang Diyos din, kinalulugdan ang mapagpakumbaba, kinaiinisan ang mayayabang. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be humble like St. Therese. Let us not be proud, for there is nothing that we could really be proud of. Huwag tayong magyabang kasi wala naman talaga tayong maipagmamayabang. Let us always be humble. Let us recognize our nothingness before God. And in our nothingness, in being nothing, God will give us everything. But more than that, in being nothing, God will be our everything. We pray for all women and men that they may heed Christ and respond to the call for conversion and renewal. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the church may be instrumental in bringing people back to the fold and in preparing them so that they could enter God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may join hands in bringing freedom and dignity to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That we may be renewed from day to day through faith in the word of God calling us to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of love and support by their families and loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the pandemic, that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose that those who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal salvation may be granted to the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions we remember the people we promised to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. Eternal Father, heal our selfishness and open our hearts to receive the good news of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Therese of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 